Hi friends, I'm Beth and I'm back with another episode of How I'm Doing It. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I am so excited. My channel has finally hit over a thousand subscribers and YouTube has chosen to monetize my channel. I appreciate every single viewer and all of your comments. I really feel blessed and honored to be a part of your day and for you to stop by and hear something that I have to say, that means a lot to me. I do appreciate it. Um, we're gonna have a Kroger clearance run today. Um, this is just a fill-in run. This is not much. I already have a good amount of things in my pantry, refrigerator, and freezer, and I'm planning to do a big grocery outlet run shortly. So these are just strictly things that are either on clearance or on sale, or for which I had a money back rebate. So I did submit these things on my receipt for a, um, a rebate through Ibotta. I got some fetch points. I believe I'm gonna get some Kroger cashback points, use some Kroger e-coupons, uh, just a variety of things. And then on top of that, I did use 300 Kroger points for which uh, those are the fuel points and I got 30 cents off per gallon. So I'll include a little bit of that in here as well. Um, so it was just a variety of things, a little hodgepodge. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with what I really went into the store for in the first place was cereal and milk. Now, cereal, I have found personally that my Kroger store brand cereal is the best price for cereal in my entire area. I have been to a lot of grocery stores. Occasionally, I'll get cereal less than these prices, but by and large, this cereal at Kroger is where I do my regular stock ups. So we have got up here, we have got uh, rice bits, which are similar to Chex cereal. We've got oat squares, which uh, are similar to the Quaker cereal. Um, we've got frosted shredded mini wheats, which are similar to the Kellogg cereal. And then we have toasted oats, which of course are similar to Cheerios. Then I got two gallons of milk that have a good long expiration date. This is 1%. My family is not picky on the type of milk of skim 1%, 2% or whole milk. Um, and 1% had the best longest dates on it and the best price today. So that's what we got. Then when I was in the deli area, um, I did see quite a few things in the produce area. So what we got today is I've never tried these before. We're just gonna see what happens. This is teriyaki. This is a lemon pesto. And this is a Southwest kit. So these are all meal kits. And they have veggies and sauce. And some of them have noodles or pasta, rice, that kind of thing. They could have meat added to them if I so desired. Um, they're pretty good size. This one here is 19.4. This one is, let's see, 17.5. Uh, and this one is actually very heavy. This is 23 ounces. So we will see how that goes. That was in the produce section. Then um, I got a blueberry pie that was reduced from $5 down to $1.49. And this is a good size pie. This is 22.5 ounces. And then I got two red onions at my store. All of the clearance produce is in one little section. It's easy to find in these little red bags and it's 99 cents per bag. I did weigh this beforehand just so I could get an idea of how much of a value that is. And these are huge onions. It's about a pound and a half of onions. Um, and then I got a Banquet Mega Meats Original Classic Boneless Strips Meal. It's 12.6 ounces, as you can see here. Now, um, I would not normally buy that, but it was on sale. I had a 75 cents cash back um, electronic offer in my Kroger account. So that brings it to what I would consider a reasonable price. We'll just try it out. And then the low fat yogurt tubes. This is eight yogurt tubes. 
And this was basically a $1.59 minus a 40 cent e-coupon from Kroger. So for a $1.19, um, eight tubes of yogurt is a good deal. Then my final item is Brie uh, cheese, and this is eight ounces. It is $2.49. It was originally for 99 and as you can see here, I did fold up parts of the receipt for my uh, local privacy, but I did get all of this for $34.72. Um, and then I got a little tiny bit of cash back on Ibotta for the any item rebate. And then I got a um, discount at the uh, gas pump. And that was for not just this purchase, but all of my purchases and prescriptions that I have picked up, I earned points for. So for $34, I felt like I did well. Um, and as you can see, I did fulfill my goal of getting milk and cereal. And then I found all these other fun things. And you know, it's just interesting to mix it up and try new things sometimes. Again, thank you all for joining me today for this video of this Kroger run. And you can see that I got a nice discount on my gas. I got a little over three quarters of a tank and ended up saving over $3 on the gas. Every time I fill up, I save several dollars with my gas points and it does add up over the course of a year. So I just want to say, um, I'm so happy that all of you have joined me for this video. I hope that you've gotten some entertainment from it, gotten some ideas of things that you could look for in your own store, in your own area. Kroger has affiliates all over the country under different brand names of their stores. So there you go. I hope you've had a good time. I hope you have a good week coming up and thank you. That's how I'm doing it.